What's up, hikers? Back on the terrifying 25 kick today. We got good weather. I'm gonna be hitting Caps Ridge to Jefferson. This will be my third summit of Mount Jefferson. And yeah, super excited. This is gonna be a fairly short lollipop loop. It's gonna be six miles total and 2,800 feet of elevation gain. So not as difficult as some of the other terrifying 25 trails or loops that I had been doing. So hopefully today goes really well. And my route plan today is up Caps Ridge. I parked at the highest trailhead, I believe in the White Mountains, starting at 3,000 feet elevation and heading up Caps Ridge, summiting Jefferson, then heading down the Castle Trail, which I, I did when I knocked out Castle Ravine, and then back onto Caps Ridge and back to the car. And today's gonna be an amazing day. Weather is beautiful. It's gonna be in the 60s, maybe the 50s up there. Light wind. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for giving me this opportunity today with good weather feeling good to tackle this trail. Let's get up there. All right guys, so I just popped out a tree line. Absolutely stunning. Took me about 50 minutes to get up here. And I think I see my route right now. So, as you can see, it looks like the Caps Ridge Castle goes down. Let's see if I can point to the right spot on that way, and then it's gonna cut back over back to Caps on the link. What a great viewpoint. This is beautiful. So, I thought we were a tree line. Pops in and out of tree line, I think, until it's officially out of tree line. I haven't actually looked at the map. But yeah, it's a short hike up to the peak of Jefferson, so we can't be that far off. It's only, I think, 2.2 miles from that trailhead. So trying to keep my heart rate in like the zone one or zone two, something that's sustainable. Um, got a couple tips from, again, from my friend, Deborah McCown. She's a New Hampshire guide, she rocks. She's amazing, AKA Rex. Um, yeah, she just was trying to help me kind of sustain my energy for longer and not burn out. So there's always new things we can implement on our hikes to help us do the best we can while we get stronger. So it's starting to get pretty steep, scrambling up. Um, haven't gotten to like um, the steepest part, but it's getting real right now, for sure. So this is definitely, um, I'd say at least a class two and a half, um, maybe even three right on this section. Uh, so we'll see what we can do to capture, capture what it looks like, guys. Let's 
say a two and a half, I guess, because I don't really need my hands, but I need them for balance. I need them to pull me up. just passed a second group coming down this way so I'm like hey <laughs> should I just descend this route that would cut a couple miles off this tri uh, trip today or or no so I'll keep going and make a decision um, those kids are so cute they're like careful there's a lot of false summits I'm like thank you <laughs> um, I feel like I've done like the hardest of the caps so far unless Unless what I'm looking at is not really Jefferson, maybe that's a false summit and Jefferson's beyond that. Um, I feel like that might be the case, I don't know. All right. It's like a breeze from here, guys. Let's go. Definitely through the hardest sections until we get to Castle Trail. Mount Washington. And the trail. All right, I just summited. It's kind of a busy summit right now, right up there. Got my mandatory summit selfie for proof. And now I'm heading down from the summit of Jefferson to the start of the castle trail, which I believe is this way. I should probably check my map. But there's a sign down here, so let's see what that says. Trail that way. My next 
One of my next objectives is the Six Husbands Trail, so that'll be really sweet. Lots of ladders on that one, so not recommended for descent. All right, let's get down the trail. So I'm super excited to get more footage of Castle Trail. It's a little more difficult and more rugged than Caps was. Um, super beautiful. Sorry, that's my favorite word, guys. Prashuprashenya to my Russian viewers. Pagnali. It was not smooth. <laughs> right. I think that's Castle Ravine. some dampness in this area. I think the link's gonna be pretty wet too.
all the way up over that. Climbing down, on this right here. I think I'm gonna go that way, down and around. Oh, I remember this part, because I have to drop. Okay, I'm down here now. <laughs> yeah, we got, got this going on. So you guys can see how far I dropped down. And heading this way, and still have quite a ways to drop down, <laughs> but I'm only about 0.1 to the link trail. All right, just uh, officially dropped down in a tree line, and it's still descending pretty sharply. And I'm gonna meet up with the link here real soon, so. All right, I just got to the Link Junction. So I'm getting off Castle. We turn in that way. The Link. All right, let's see how awful this is. So 1.4 miles on this to meet back up with Caps Ridge, back to the car. Oh, this is adorable. Give me a little bit of a reprieve from the grueling castle trail. This is cool. I really actually like this so far. The trail's gonna have to do a lot harder than this to deter me from liking it. I feel like this is, this is beautiful. And soft. definitely not complaining and for sure if it like stays level like this or for the most part um, that's a good day that's good <laughs> so the root system on these trees is is crazy I just have to be careful because there's a lot of holes like right next like right on the path but yeah these um these root systems are really cool. Really, really cool. And thankfully, this is like 80% dry. Like this would be so slippery in the rain. 
from all the roots, but it is almost literally dry. So that is really, really cool. I would have to say that this spot was the hardest so far. Um, took some maneuvering. So I didn't drop down here, um, but I came around and then I was holding onto that and then I swung around this piece um, to here instead of going down that way. But yeah, that took a minute. <laughs> that definitely took, took both hands and a lot of, um, finger strength, like gripping. The trail is a little bit more damp now, but not bad. Just in spots. Definitely beautiful. I am a mile to the car, about 0.2 until I reach Caps Ridge Trail again from the link. The link's been so fun. I've been really grateful that it's soft and mostly level, um, a little bit of ups and downs, but overall, I think it was worth it. But thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, happy hiking.